Hey, so I have had a few people ask me my product application technique for when I wash my hair for my curly girl method. And I'm not saying my technique is right by any means. It is just, put some light in here. Just what I have found that works best for me and my hair. I used to put my products on in the shower. I did them upside down. I did all of that. Upside down was killing my back. Um, in the shower, I couldn't really tell if I was getting all of my hair covered and it was just more work and hassle. And that's why I went Curly Girl was to try to eliminate some of that. I used to straighten my hair and I would stand in the bathroom for about an hour, first drying and then straightening. Um, and I kind of got tired of that and I wanted something that was going to be easy and manageable. So that's why I went Curly Girl in the first place. So now I apply my products um, out of the shower and standing up, but you will see that I tilt to the side and back and forth. And I've tried several different methods. I've tried raking in, you know, put the product in your hand and rake it. You may hear my child. Um, I've tried that. I've tried um, the whole like squish chicken dish thing where you put the product in and squish it. And I do some of that, but my favorite method that I have found is roping, where you put the products in your hands and you kind of rope it down the sections of your hair. I feel like I get the best overall coverage when I do that. And typically, most people start with their um, conditioner or whatever they're gonna use to moisturize their hair and put that closest to your hair. You put that first. Um, but I use, Uncle Funky's Daughter's Curly Magic. It's a curl stimulator. And I had read people say that it dried their hair, hair out a little bit. So some people recommend it putting this first and then your conditioner on top to help add moisture back in on top of this product. So that's what I do. And it depends if my hair is starting to dry, I'll just get my spray bottle. I still want it pretty wet. I love this Mr. Bottle. As much hair as I have, that's the other thing, as much hair as I have, it takes a little bit of effort to make sure everything's covered. And I just couldn't tell in the shower. I mean, I had even hung a mirror in the shower and you know, it got fogged up. See if your dad can help. It would get fogged up and all that mess. And it, then like, I had to, I actually had it like hanging on shampoo bottles and I couldn't tilt it to see like the bottom part of my hair. I could see like here, but then I couldn't tell the rest of it. So I just get my hair really good and wet, almost dripping, not quite dripping. And the first product I apply is the Curly Magic. And these products, honestly, I think all Curly products are trial and error and it's gonna work for somebody, but it might not work for you or it might work for you and you tell your friend about it and they're like, oh, I hate that stuff. No curly hair is the same. No two heads are exactly the same. So I use, put it in my hand and sometimes I'll just wet my other hand with water at the sink get it flowing really well and then I usually try to I separate it in the back just so I can get to it gently like I don't like finger comb it or anything um I'll tell you about that in a second too when I've tried the raking and then I will start roping down the bottom sections to try to make sure I get it all and then that's when I kind of squish you can hear it too because it's got the water and the product in it and my, my hair's backwards from a lot of people's and I think it's from the years of straightening. I even did chemical straighteners in the past. Um, the underneath of my hair is straighter where a lot of people have the um, underneath of their hair is curlier. So I have to work harder to get that part to curl actually because um, some of it is almost stick straight. I try to pay careful attention and I will kind of finger comb a little bit at the top to make sure I'm getting it in at the roots. And I also try to make sure that I get the back because it's split and I'm not really getting that part really well. So I rope it and then I squish it, scrunch it, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll do the other side the same way. And I do three products on my hair when I get out. I do the Curly Magic, I do my conditioner, and then my gel. And I do them one product at a time. So I'll do all the Curly Magic all over my whole head. And then I'll do conditioner all over my whole head. 
and then I will do my gel. And people need a lot of gel. Like it is intimidating the amount that your hair can probably handle because people are like, oh, that's so much. And it does get crunchy, but you kind of want that crunch. That is what is going to lock out the frizz, lock in the moisture, hold the shape of your hair. And then once it's dry, you do this exact thing I'm gonna do it now. You scrunch out the crunch and it becomes nice and soft and fluffy, but it holds your beautiful curls. And the squishing right here also helps to get any pieces that you may have missed. So I just do that all over. And then I go back with my next product. So my conditioner's next. And I use my regular conditioner. Um, I really like the Not Your Mother's Naturals brand. And I like it a lot because I feel like it's a brand that I can recommend to a lot of people because they have different weights. I gotta split it again. They have different weights. So I need a lot of moisture in my hair. So I use the heaviest one that they have, but people with thinner hair or finer hair, um, even maybe some that are not as curly, but more wavy or um, I think I've heard them even call like swavy or something like that. I've heard people call themselves. They might can use the lighter ones because some, some products are too heavy for people's hair, but mine needs all the weight and all the moisture. And when I leave the camera, I'm just putting water from the sink on my hand again. I use about two pumps of conditioner on each side. And then I may go back like this side because of my part, this side is thicker. So I'll probably do another one. And then I add a little bit extra, like I said earlier, to make sure I got the back. I always try to make sure I get my scalp pretty good because that is where my hair shows frizz the most. So I try to make sure I get that pretty good. And this motion right here is also helping form your curls um, from the beginning, like before they even start to dry. I, like I said earlier, I have finger raked before where I put my products in and I rake it all through. And while that gives really good distribution of the product, it broke my curls up more, even though I scrunched them afterwards. It broke them up more and I got stringier looking curls. And they didn't look bad. I just personally prefer the big, thick, chunky, fluffy curls. All right, now it's time for gel. And like I said, some people are like, oh, I use like a quarter size. Think like, baseball or softball size by the time you're done. Now I will make a mess if I have that much gel at one time. So I go back and get more and more and more. But my hairstylist, when she does mine, you know, she's got me laid over in the sink. She just puts it all in. She's like, look how much I'm using. Like, and it's a whole handful. I get, I get hair everywhere too. It's part of being a curly girl. But she's like, look how much I'm using. And it's so much. So I do get my hands wet for that. It just makes it spread a little bit easier. So like this is my first handful. You see, I try not to make too much of a mess. And I rope it through my hair, just like I did all the other products, trying not to split up any of my curls, trying to get my scalp pretty good, get the back because where I split it in the back. I don't want that to be missed. Like, look at that, like all of that. That's how much gel is in here. And when you squish it, make sure you're taking it all the way to the root so that you're getting the product up there as well. You might hear my family being crazy. They're like wrestling and all kinds of stuff in the next room. And you can see already with the gel, some of these thicker curls are starting to form and clump together. That's what I like. I'm almost done. And I never knew exactly how long it took me. We're almost at 10 minutes. So another big old palm full. I would say all in all, by the time I completely finish and do my clipping and everything that I'm getting ready to show you, maybe 15 minutes. And that's a whole lot better than the hour I used to spend trying to get it straight. 
So because this side is thicker, because I have my hair parted, I'll go back and get a little more. Personally, I like the LA Looks brand gel. I'll show you in one second, you know, like the teenage boy middle school gel. I get it at either Walmart or Target or the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree does not have the big containers that I like, but I have tried all kinds of gel. I've tried Diva Curl, I've tried the expensive ones. And honestly, I get a stiffer, more firm hold with this one, and it's cheaper. I'm like, for me, my hair can handle that, and it can take, you know, the weight of it. So, I'm like, why am I going to spend more money on a product that is equal or even lesser? So, I get my top, I get the back. So, I, and I just squish for a little while to get it all mixed in. That way, if you do miss some pieces while you're applying, this will help get them coated. And you can hear it, like it's it's squishy. It sounds kind of gross. Because I have to have this much moisture in my hair, it does take my longer to dry. One thing I have tried in the past, but it also, I feel like, takes away a little bit of my curl definition is at this point, you can take a paper towel, just a regular paper towel, and squish and blot your scalp. And sometimes I'll do just my scalp because that part takes a long time to dry, but it'll soak up some of that moisture so it will dry faster. But it takes a little bit of your product, not a ton, but a little bit of your product with it also. So just be cautious of that. So I'm gonna wash my hands and get all the extra gel off. And then I'm gonna show you really quickly Kind of how I root clip. There's different ways to do that too. I have played and I might do it a little bit differently each time. Um, part of that for me has been trial and error and just figuring out kind of what my hair likes and how I like for it to look when I finish. My hairdresser does it differently and I love how it looks when she finishes, but I've tried to do the same technique that she does and it doesn't look the same. So personally, I have both, but I prefer the little two-prong clips. And I think I got these maybe at Sally's. I got these at Walmart, the longer ones. I use these occasionally. I'll show you one thing that I do use them for. And then if I have extra pieces at the end that I want in a different spot, I'll use those because I have 10 of these and it's not worth buying a whole other pack. I like to go in with this one and lift the hair off my head because the gel kind of makes it stick down to your scalp. So I just go in and lift and I part my hair on this side, but I try not to be too particular about my part. And sometimes even if you get extra over here or over here, that almost helps because when you clip it and it dries against the way you part it, then sometimes it gives you a little more volume. So I'm not really particular about it back there. And I usually start towards the back and I just lift and slide my clip in and I see if it will stay like that one did. Sometimes I have to reposition them. Sometimes they work fine. I think there's been a crisis in the other room. Not a real crisis, just a child that's upset. So I'm gonna lift that and clip it. He's laughing now. The part that I'm most particular about is the front because that's the part that, you know, once it's dry, it's the front of your face. So sometimes I will clip it one way and then when it's a little over halfway dry, here's another thing you can go in right here to lift it. And sometimes when it's about halfway dry, I may go in and readjust it just so it doesn't, it's not like one set way. The other thing I didn't like about applying my products in the shower was that they got all over my back. And even though I rinsed them, I still felt like it was on me. So I even felt like they were on my neck just then. So I'm 
So I feel like I need a little more lift right here. So I'm gonna reposition this one closer to kind of where I want it. And then I'm gonna add another one over here. And it's hard to do looking in here, so I'm looking over at the mirror too. And one other thing that I do with my clips is I gather hair in the back and just kind of pull it together because since I separate my hair when I apply my products, I don't want it to look like, not a bald spot, but like, you know, a flat, like open spot in the back. So I always like pull some together back there and just clip it together. I'll turn around and show you. I don't know what it looks like from the back, but just so it kind of puts it in the middle so when it, it'll fluff out and cover that. And I don't always have to use these at the end, depending on the placement of my clips and if I have enough. Not loving how that one's doing. And personally, I feel like my hair like swells or something. And um, I feel like when I take them out, sometimes it gets stuck in there. And that one I don't do as high because that one goes this way. So I don't want like a huge kind of tidal wave. The other thing I do with these though, is I will go under the layer that I just clipped and put it in this way, just to lift it up off my scalp a little bit to try to help it dry a little bit faster. Here's the big thing I use these for. See this piece, this guy, I don't want him in my face. So I'll just kind of grab some of these with a big one and just kind of loosely pin it, clip it, sort of hold it back so it's not all in my face while it's drying. Now I'll lift this side as well. And it just pulls it up off the scalp just a little bit just to get some air in there. And I personally use a diffuser. Um, I use the Black Orchid one. I'll show you that in one second. It's in my closet. I'm about to dig it out. This is the one that I use and I literally just put as much hair in it as I can and I will push it up. I mean, with the hair dryer on it, of course, but I'll just push it up and hold it for a few seconds and then I'll switch to another area. And I do that all over my whole head, at least for maybe 15 to 20 minutes to get some of the like soaking wet out. I have found if I let part of it dry towards the end, um, on its own, I have less frizz then too. So a lot of times I just let it do its thing. It does take a while, but I usually try to plan it when I'm either here or like running through the drive-thru. I have ran through the drive-thru before with my clips in, but you know, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So that is my technique. It works for me. Maybe it will help you. I don't know, but I hope that at least maybe one piece of some of that can be of a help.